Hello everyone and welcome to History with Emma. I am now at the Mamak in Nice and today I'm going to teach you how to analyze a piece of art and impress your friends when visiting a museum with only eight elements. First, you have the technique, which is basically what the object is. Is it a painting, a sculpture, a collage or a photograph? The medium is what is the piece made of. For example, is this painting made with oil paint? Is this drawing made with charcoal? Or is this sculpture made with stone or marble? In third position, we have the size and scale, which is pretty obvious. It is how big or small is the object. There are many different types of line and the things you need to consider are their orientation, are they vertical, horizontal and zigzag or curved through its thickness. Is it a thick line? Is it a thin line? But also its intensity. Are they very dark or are they very light? Composition is all about the structure of the artwork and is how the elements are represented. Is the artwork really crowded? Are things really washed out? Or is there something very specific in the center that is very important? Then you have the space. Space is the element of perspective on an art piece. You have two types of space, the positive space and the negative space. In a painting or in a photography, the main subjects take up the positive space and everything surrounding them is the negative space. In a sculpture like this one, it's a little different. It takes up the positive space and everything surrounding it, including me, is the negative space. Colors highly contribute to the emotional effect a painting or an art piece is going to have on its viewers. Are the colors really intense or do they look washed out, like pastels for example? Texture is all about the feel of the artwork. If you were to hug it, what would you feel? And please don't even try to do that in a museum. Texture can either be real or implied. Real is when you can actually feel the changing form and the touch of all the materials used to make this sculpture, for example. If I were to touch this Venus from Niki Tsanfal, I would be able to touch her changing form, the different materials Niki Tsanfal used to make her. Implied texture is only visual. If you were in front of one of Chuck Lowe's very realistic paintings, you would not be able to feel the skin or the hair, making it implied. These are eight of the many elements you can consider when analyzing a piece of art. However, I just felt that they were the most important and more specifically the easiest to remember. So now, good luck on your next museum expedition and goodbye. goodbye.